Hello there everybody and welcome back to Contrast. Now I done goofed last time. We finished up this whole bit of chapter with the clock and the mechanisms and meeting Vincenzo and we got back outside into the street. We were actually just on the other side of this door here after meeting with Vincenzo just before we were going to chase after Dee Dee when I realized that I had forgotten a collectible in this chapter. This door never reopens after you kind of start this little section here. So be sure to collect the three collectibles that are in this chapter before you uh, move on, unless you want to backtrack and go backwards like I'm having to do. So the first two are very simple. We went over these already. There's uh, this one here behind this glass case in this room with the machine that you have to move. We did grab that one. Fast forward a little bit into this room. We found this drawing on the wall here. And the reason that I missed the last one was just because I beelined it straight for the uh, the cutscene to finish up this chapter and I didn't really look over to my side, basically. So when I got into this room, I went right and straight down to the end of the room with the uh, cutscene containing uh, Vincenzo's meeting with Dee Dee. But if I just pan to the left of me, the collectible I missed is right here. So it's fairly obvious, but apparently I just never bothered to zoom my camera that way and, and check this one out. And this is a newspaper article about Vincenzo. So, bad news was I had to restart that whole chapter, but the good news is, when you have the ability to skip cutscenes, you can fly through and uh, play this game very, very quickly. And now we're right back to where we were last time. So a little bit of a detour there. My apologies for anybody who uh, might have missed that because they were following along. But I should mention too, all I had to do was just go back to the main title and uh, do chapter select in order to uh, move backwards. And it's not a very difficult game to go back and grab any collectibles that you may have missed. What do I do with you? Lock you up? Put bars on the windows? I can't stay at home all night and watch you. I know. I'm not one of those secretaries who punch out at five. I'm a rising star, right? Did Johnny know about this? Because I'm going to kill him. I just wanted to talk to Vincenzo. I never should have let him back. I just need it. Just wanted. And now, ladies and gentlemen, the amazing Vincenzo's Theater of the Unreal. I knew it. I knew this was another one of Johnny's pipe dreams. You screwed up again, didn't you? Johnny, what's going on? Is this part of the show? I got it. I got it. They're getting antsy. They're going to want their money back. If you give them their money back, you can't pay us. It's all under control. I just gotta go find a spare ball. Fuse. Something. Why can't he get anything right? We're gonna have to fix this one, too. Ah, uh, poor Dee Dee. We need to light up the stage somehow. She's the child, and yet she's fixing all of the adults' mistakes. Are you not gonna move, Dee Dee? Are you not coming with me? Okay, well, either way, we're going to the lighthouse. Which is just right over here. Really, really tall, but it does look like a lighthouse. It's pretty cool, actually. This is a weird lighthouse. Do you think it's some kind of science lab? It reminds me of Vincenzo's workshop. I think this is what lights up the lights up there. Let me see if I can fix it. Hmm. 
All right, so we should be able to enter the lighthouse just by phasing into the shadow there, but I'm just gonna take a quick peek around the lighthouse just to make sure there's nothing on the sides here that I could possibly miss out on before I enter. Doesn't look like it though. All right. So this is sort of our final area that we'll be going into now. So we can shift into the uh, lighthouse here. We're going to leave Dee Dee outside for just a moment. And we get to do some pretty cool puzzles with the lights. So first things first, we're actually going to move this light over. Oh, I want to move it over. I don't know why it's not letting me. I think it's because I keep hitting that bulb. So you want to move it over to the left, but you want to avoid the bulb. Otherwise, it'll kick you out. And you want to shine it right on the box that's in the middle of this area. And then when you're in shadow, drop the box, phase out, and then we're going to move the box while it's in the shadow, which is pretty neat, actually. And we're going to move it over to the left so it drops off onto the ledge there. Because we need this box to go on this switch right over here. So what we're basically doing is we're trying to build all of these uh, stairs because there's going to be multiple levels in order to reach the top. So now we can move the light over to that bulb that I was uh, kind of trying to avoid earlier. And now I have to wait for the light to come back, but you can see that the spotlight doesn't move, or it moves on its own, it doesn't allow us to move it at all, so we just have to be a little bit patient here. If we stand over on the left side, we should be able to start our walk, the shadow will come around, we can hop into it, and we can move our way on over right, we're going to grab the box along the way. Remember to stay in the spotlight. And then we can drop this box on this switch. And that's pretty much all there was to it for this first part of the lighthouse, but it's pretty cool. I like playing with all the lights and moving all the boxes around in the shadows. I feel like we haven't really done a whole lot of that since the uh, pirate ship, but the pirate ship had quite a bit of moving around shadows and light with the balls uh, for the pirate ship and the boxes and things like that, which is pretty cool. There's a collectible on this wall here. You can see there's a contrast between the woman and her shadow. So we are basically just climbing up, 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 upwards at this point. I don't think we've let Dee Dee in yet. I think she's still at the bottom. There's a couple of collectibles here. This one here is a lecture piece on mystical experiences. And then if we wrap around the other way, there's another collectible here. This is uh, 
I think this is about Vincenzo, or it's about another illusion illusionist and his missing assistant. It doesn't actually say Vincenzo anywhere on here, so it must be another illusionist. I guess there's quite a few kicking around. And then when you've collected those, feel free to hit this machine here. Which will turn on some shadows for us. Or it'll turn on some light so that we're able to go into the shadows. And we're going to have to very quickly dash our way through to the other side. Another collectible here when you come out. And these are pictures depicting the shadow dimension's effect on the world. So it's interesting because this is the first chapter that we're really actually getting any sort of insight into why Dawn can manipulate shadows or if she's the only one that can manipulate shadows or if it's just the way that Dee Dee sees the world. There hasn't really been a lot of insight into that. It's mostly all just a lot to do with uh, Dee Dee and Johnny and kind of what's going on with her. So it's cool to actually see some uh, stuff about the shadows. Lots of collectibles in this chapter. There's a couple more here. This is a science uh, picture. And then there's another one here, which is a picture of a skeleton projecting to a shadow. And you can see on the other side here, we've got some more uh, sort of puzzles that we're going to have to deal with. So you've got these two kind of, I don't know, I don't know what you would classify them as, filters? So one filter will move in this direction and it will light up all these uh, gears on the wall and then this one appears to go outside, but we don't have a way to go out there yet until we can open this door. So if we project onto that light source there, we should be able to find a, a way to kind of climb up here. up onto the uh, balcony. And obviously we're going to have to find uh, some switches like this to put boxes onto because uh, obviously when we step off of it that's not going to be good enough for us. So this I think is kind of the final puzzle area and uh, we're going to have to move this box around a lot. There's lots and lots of different stuff uh, for us to do with this box. And you can see just how many uh, switches there are and how many places we're going to have to actually uh, bring the light to. So at this point, because the door is open, we can now start with the secondary part of this by uh, switching the lights over. But I will probably uh, do this uh, next time, because we should be able to probably finish up the game at this point if we just finish up these uh, last few puzzles and uh, cutscenes and whatnot. So I'll save some of the puzzle solving for the next video. Thank you all so very much for watching, and I hope that I will see you next time.